welcome and welcome back to Engine's Place. I have here the new deceased um, poster portfolio from DC. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Look at this one. Look at that. It looks awesome. Um, I really loving the the artwork here. I think there's actually a lot of Francesco Martina here. But in any case, I'd like to show you guys a flip through on this one because the artwork again here is phenomenal. So keep watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. And also subscribe to my channel, The Ancient's Place. So this is the deceased um, poster portfolio from DC. Pretty amazing cover. Uh, I love that. You can actually also see that in, in inside. So let's start. Um... There's just the introduction in there and this part normally has the complete um, list of um, how would say comics but they didn't I, I think they didn't put there everything but either way let's start with this piece pretty amazing look at this one uh, this is Batman amazing stuff he's like a zombie <clears throat> sorry about that he's like a zombie here um, so this one is another Batman. So the other one was actually for um, Fr Francesco Martina. This one uh, and this one, if I remember, this is actually from Andy Kubert. Uh, really amazing. Like Batman is fighting off the, the zombie ho horde. Uh, like SWAT zombies, something like that. Pretty amazing. I love it. Um, so this is, uh, sorry, that was from uh, Greg Capolo. This one, sorry about that. And this is the cover itself. This is Superman and I, I think this is also still uh, Francesco Matina. So Francesco Matina has lots of art in, in this series and especially in this poster portfolio. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, yep, and this one is, I think this might be from Andy Kubert. Yeah, this is the one that from that is from Andy Kubert. The other one was from Greg Capolo. I haven't, I really don't, I haven't read that much with this um, deceased story arc, but I heard that this is caused by the anti-life um, thing, uh, so they turn into zombies, so this is from Andy Kubert, another amazing artwork by Francesco Martina, so this is the Wonder Woman, look at her, she is horrifying, but still very beautiful. And this is, I think this might be from Joshua Middleton. Let's see. But this is actually one of my favorites here. This is beautifully done. You can see Superman, like Superman's hands and Wonder Woman is all blooded. Really amazing stuff. I love this. Um, I also tried to give you guys uh, what which comic variant or cover is this. Uh, which variant cover is it? Um, so, yep, I I was pretty sure that it was from Joshua Middleton. This one is another and uh, Francisco Martina one. This is a Joker, pretty nasty looking Joker right here. Like really love the details. Look at his mouth and everything, his teeth, some scars here as well. Very very scary. And to think about it, we've seen Joker like this before, right? Like he has his face off and something like that. So this is not something new, but this is very well done by Francesco Martina. Let's get another one. So here, this is actually when Catwoman is becoming a zombie. And these two ladies here seems to be having some fun. Really beautiful stuff. I love it. Look at Catwoman here. She looks very nasty. I feel bad for her. The next one, this is Harley Quinn. So this is also one of my favorites here. I really love the the splash of, I don't know, whatever that is. Um, but it looks phenomenal. It looks good. Uh, and I love the expression and everything. So this is at least the first time for me. I don't know if there are other uh, story arcs from, um, I would say, the DC that Harley has a face off like Joker, but this is the first time she looked very, very nasty. So that was also a Francesco Martina. Uh, this one, I don't know. I think this is a Wonder Woman or something. Let me check. But this is from Ryan Shook. This art here. I, I really don't understand this art because like I said, I have not uh, read the comics. But it seems like this is Blue Beetle or something. But it is actually, I, I feel that if this is was the cover, there's like a, 
the the title here or something and it would look absolutely awesome that would be something so to continue uh this is dark side he, he looks pretty cool becoming a zombie though look at that i mean he looks pretty much very cool for this one and becoming a zombie his eyes here this beautiful lines were like there it, it glows up that's how he becomes a zombie if I were him, he should be a zombie. <laughs> so and this that one was also another Francesco Martina. So this one is also pretty awesome. I love how Barbara is becoming like uh like in rage here um, when she is in a zombie mode. Um, what? So this is by Javi Fernandez and colored by Matt Lopez. Pretty awesome. I also love looking at this one with all the stuff because it's for me somehow. Um, also ties up with with the Batman one um, where Batman was fighting off all the SWAT and here there's a like GCPD really amazing stuff this one is one of my favorites um, also because look at that like look at this one this is that stroke and he looks pretty awesome here uh, like ripping off his I would say mask and looks really nasty looking here Amazing stuff. Uh, I love how uh, Francesco Martina did this like really amazing the all the this lines here uh, the blood work the the hair and everything and coming out and you can see really like it's been ripped off amazing stuff uh, by Francesco Martina This one also is again one of my favorites like it's pretty good. It has all the action with Red Hood like he's fighting all of them and at the same time jumping all out from the window how amazing is that look at this artwork like it's amazingly done um you can see the perspective the blood work the details the zombies the action right there you can even see the splatter that he just hit this zombie right here amazing stuff i really wish there's an artwork for this one like a canvas or something because it's pretty good i think this might be from um that was from carl mustard uh, colored by Rex Locos. I hope I pronounce it properly. Amazing work right there. And another uh, favorite of mine, which is again from Francesco Martina. This is actually the Red Hood, and I really love that it is shattered. Uh, it comes next to the one before where he's fighting the zombies, and now he's becoming a zombie. So again, I don't know here if he really did become a zombie, but this artwork just screams like beauty for me like blood beauty uh something like that and it's really like showcases also how red hood is when which is he is actually broken and it shows that it's shattered here and he is becoming a zombie inside so amazing stuff um this is a bit darker uh this is like a a, a horror movie or something this is another harley quinn and at first I thought this was an ordinary guy, but this is actually Joker. You can see here properly. This is like a hand of Joker, it resembles the hand of the Joker. Really amazing stuff. The Red Hood, by the way, was Francesco Martina. Uh, this one is from uh, Jae Young Lee. So it's quite amazing stuff also, but it's very horrifying. This, this artwork here by Jae Young Lee. Uh, one of my favorite artists as well. And I guess this is from... Uh, Parilio, um, I forgot his name, Lucio Parilio. Amazing work right here and very realistic face from for Batman. Look at that. <laughs> um, he's becoming a zombie and Wonder Woman is there. Let, uh, or, let's say tying it up. Amazing stuff also and look at the background and everything. They all popped out uh, because the background is like very smoky and gray. And this is also my favorite right here because it resembles uh, the the doomsday um, Superman where Superman was get, get killed and I think this is one of the art before um, and this looks just amazing that both of them are becoming like zombies or something amazing stuff I really love looking at this by Inyo Klee um, another great job from him and I re I, I mean it, it just looks very beautiful that's it that's that's all I can say look at all the details and blood work right there and this is the Joker very menacing again um, I would say very creepy and then but it has all the details 
it's just for me that this artwork has so much digital in it if you can see here the lines it's like the this head was created real and then the hair was placed something like that you can actually see that it's just on top of the drawing or i don't know the mask or something but either way it looks amazing this is super that was actually by john john jiang this was a, this one is from the art original art from Ant adams um i think uh and then this is a, a super girl that becoming a how would say uh a zombie as well so that's wrap up that's the wrap for this artwork right here pretty amazing let me once again show you guys this one this is the deceased dc portfolio